We've all been in pain at some point in our lives, whether from an illness, a severe headache, or an injury. Typically, we seek treatment and the pain goes away. But some people experience excruciating pain that never goes away. Instead, it takes over their lives, consuming them until they feel they have no way out. In tonight's Power to the Patient report, we examine a device that uses electricity to relieve pain. When it absorbs you so much that you can't forget about it, nothing gets your mind off of it. That's the kind of pain that you just feel like you just want to give up and you want to die. It is usually somebody who's failed surgery and other interventional pain therapies that uh, have not worked for them. That was the case for Tammy Houch. Surgery for a disease didn't go as well as the doctor would have liked and she was left in tremendous pain. Her parents were forced to put her in a nursing home because she could hardly move. I remember laying in my bed and and my little dog would crawl up on my chest and lick my tears. But Tammy never gave up. She made an appointment to see Dr. John Dooley at the Mississippi Valley Surgery Center's pain clinic. When I went to doctor's appointments with my mother, um, I would lay down in the back seat because I could not stand sitting. After living for eight months being hardly able to move, she was hoping Dr. Dooley would have a viable solution. He did an implant similar to the size of a pacemaker that would send pulses through her spine. You can replace a painful uh, experience or an unpleasant feeling with something that's more pleasant like tingling. The beauty of this thing is, is that you can trial it ahead of time before you permanently implant it. When I realized that the trial changed me, it changed me within a week that I noticed I could get some relief. I could forget about the pain. It could relieve my mind a little bit that I could go out and I could have dinner. Slowly, Tammy has reclaimed her life. Yeah, one more time. Go. Now she can play fetch with her dog, pick raspberries from her garden and sit without crying. I made myself learn it. I made myself learn how to adapt to it. You have to decide whether you like the feeling uh, that you're replacing, which is pain, with the tingling. And if there are people out there that are experiencing that kind of pain. My message to them is that there is help. There is help with the stimulator. I mean, it can fix you if you want it to. The spinal stimulator implant must be charged once a day for 10 minutes or for a few hours every other week.